Hi everyone. This video is going to be very interesting because today in this video I am sharing a trick that will help you to design esports logo like this. So let's start. First of all, open the link from video description. After opening this folder will appear. You will see three files here. Select select all these files. Go to triple dot and click on download. I'm not downloading this because I have already downloaded. After downloading the folder, select these files one by one and click on install. I have already installed that's why they are asking to replace. Cancel it. Now open your Adobe Illustrator and press F key from your keyboard to make full size. Zoom your artboard and select type tool. Type any three alphabets that you want. Go to selection tool. By pressing shift plus alt key make it bigger. Select all the alphabets one by one and add font in it. First I am selecting letter A. Search for circle monogram left. And add in it. Now select letter B and search for circle monogram middle. Select letter C and add circle monogram right. In this way you can add any alphabets in your logo. This is the simplest way to make circle logo. Before this I am making logo with the grid and it's, it's a long process. It takes much time. But in this way you can make your logo more accurate and precise without wasting any time. Ok now delete all of this and uh, edit our main logo. I used letter A B C to just show you how you can add font. It's, it, it was just an example. Ok now I am adding this WAG. Make it bigger. Go to object and expand it. After expanding. I just want to make W look more cooler. So select pen tool and draw a shape here. I'm using pen tool to draw a shape. It's my favorite tool. Now select all of this. Go to pathfinder and make unite to make one shape. Ok now make it smaller and place it on side. I want to make a shield. For this go to ellipse tool. Draw a circle. Swap fill to stroke by pressing shift plus alt key make a copy and place it in center. Make another copy and attach its center point in center. Now select all of this. Go to shape builder tool. It's also my favorite tool. By pressing alt key delete extra objects. Also delete extra copies of shield. Just keep one. Place it in center and make it bigger. Add stroke in it. Add thicker stroke like all alphabets. Adjust it a little bit. After adjusting, go to object path and outline stroke. Now select ellipse tool again. Make a circle a bit more bigger than our logo. Select the circle and shield. Go to shape builder tool. Delete extra objects. By mistakenly I deleted shield from right side. But it's fine we will keep it from left part. May I release compound path. Go to transform. And reflect. Make copy. Place it in right side. Select shield objects, make a group. Make it a bit smaller. Now select everything and make a one object by making group. I want to make multiple concept of logo because when we work for someone we mostly provide two three concept. So make a duplicate and delete shield from this. Zoom it a little bit. Now I want to add some circle around this shape. So select ellipse tool and draw a big circle and uh, swap fill to stroke. I want to make a stroke more thicker. Uh, it's fine. 
Now go to object and expand it. You can also outstroke. It's the same thing. Mega group and zoom out. Finally, we have two concepts, but it's not esports logo. It's a simple logo. So make a, make a copy of artboard because we need black background. Go to rectangle tool and draw a big rectangle like our artboard. Its size must be same. Go to object and lock it. Now select logo and add white color in it. For now, we will we will add any other color. It's in back of rectangle, that's why it's not visible. Bring to front. Now I want to add gradient in the, in this. So select first concept and add simple gradient. I don't like this gradient, so I want to change the colors. Select this color. You can select any colors. I just just want to show how to add gradient. Make ungroup and select letters. Go to gradient tool, or you can also press G from your keyboard. Add gradient and adjust the colors. After adjusting. Uh, go to object, path, offset path. I want to make logo look more 3D and elastic, so reduce the offset path minus. Now select outer part of the monograms by using gradient tool. Uh, make colors in opposite direction. Now select shield objects and go to object, path, offset path, and re reduce the, reduce the offset path. Select total part. Add colors in opposite way like we did recently. It's looking good to me. Trust me, mostly clients love this type of colors in their logo. Now uh, do the same same process for uh, WAD in circle concept. Firstly, adjust the colors, then do the same like go to object path, offset path, and uh, reduce the offset path. Select total part and add gradient in opposite direction by using gradient tool it's looking good to me finally we have successfully created these two concepts i don't want to create two concepts i just created because to explain you how to create more concepts like this i hope you learned something new and useful during the process if you have any question then don't hesitate to comment below i will reply to you as soon as possible i can so thank you Thank you so much for watching, have a nice day.